What's good, everybody? It's your boy. So, um, I don't think I did a video for this game. I'm gonna do a video real quick because I've recently started replaying it or whatever. Um, mainly because I had to go out and give the uh, PlayStation 4 back that I bought my girl for Christmas. She decided she wanted to be complicated and want an Xbox One instead. So I got to keep this game. And I'm going to voice some of the issues I have. I, I, I started it back up. I have re-downloaded it and all that fun shit. So I started playing it again. And I do have some issues with the game that actually have nothing to do with the fact that Unity was so bad. So I'm going to go ahead and voice those with y'all. Um, and this is a huge step up from Unity. That was a piece of shit. Um, this should have been the, uh, game. Unity could have stayed on last gen, and I wouldn't have had a thing to say about it, um, personally. But the way they were like, oh, this is the next gen Assassins, um, should have made a lot of people mad, and I'm glad it did. But this is actually a good next-gen Assassin's. But I am not going to sit here and be like, Oh, it's flawless bullshit. Ubisoft, please stop making these so damn fast. Because they're getting more and more flawed. And they're starting to be, become more and more Bethesda-like games. And for those of y'all who know Bethesda, you know they're buggy as shit. They are glitchy as hell. And by all means... They need patches that are like day zero, day one, day two, day three, like pre-day patches even, if you will. Um, now, I know people that have personally had to restart missions in Assassin's Creed because their character has vanished. Um, I haven't had that happen yet, but again, I am only at the beginning of the game. Um, I have just gotten into London, if you will, with doing all of the first town liberation or whatever the rooks are now a gang um but with playing it i've also come across the fact that there's grand theft assassin um we don't need to be driving a horse and carriage as much as we do in this assassin's creed i realize that it's a huge assassin's creed world it is bigger than the other ones um, the pirate one, a lot of people were like, oh, we, we're having to drive a pirate boat around all this, whatever, but that was mainly water, so the ship was a necessary thing, it was a necessity, but I didn't play that one. I mean, I played it, but I didn't really get into it. Um, but... I feel like vehicles and all that is getting more in the way of actually being an assassin okay the Altair and the uh, Enzia stories had you riding horses um, and it was more confinement and it was more stealthy where the games after those were more open and they're less stealthy I feel the same way about this one it's less stealth going on it's more open um, this one I feel is more of a brawler. I don't know if it's because I'm at the beginning. I don't know if it's going to change. Hopefully it does. Um, I really hope that changes because I, I again, it just, it feels more of a brawler. It says new brutal combat system. Um, play as Jacob and Evie Fry. First of all, I don't know why I need to play as two assassins. That's going to start confusing the shit out of me having to go back and forth. Maybe not y'all, but me personally, I I like to play with one character. I, if you wanted me to play as two characters, you should have done like Devil May Cry 2. Put one character on one disc, put another character on another disc. Or like you did with Resident Evil 2 when it came to, like, okay, they did it on both GameCube and the uh, PlayStation. Leon was on one disc, Claire was on another, but on the Nintendo 64, it was on one cartridge. And you could play as either one, and you just selected vice versa. And I feel like they could do that if they would have just, you know, we're so far advanced now with the games. 
I don't see why they don't make it that way. You know what I mean? Um, and I just feel like, okay, it's getting a little out of hand. I don't really, I mean, I think it's entertaining, but again, it's just a little, you know, a little much. There's so much going on that it's kind of losing its focus. I mean, just, you got to consider the fact, Ubisoft, just consider the fact your failure with um, Unity, you know what I mean? You had that failure, and Assassin's Creed hasn't been as good since Assassin's Creed 2, which is a lot of people's favorite Assassin's Creed. Um, that's one of my favorites, and I haven't even beat it, and it's not because I don't like it, it's not because I have anything against it, it's just, I don't have a 360, and the version of the game I was playing it on was on the 360, and the only way I get to play it is when I go over to my girl's house, and that's the one I have all the hours on, and I don't like to go back and replay games that much, especially when I haven't beat it, and I don't like to go and, you know, do all that grinding again, so when I go over to her house and I sit down and start actually playing it again, then I'll start, you know, but I digress. When you sit down and you play the Assassin's Creed Syndicate game, there's just, it seems like they're kind of forcing a lot on you rather than, you know, trying to actually give you good substance story, give you good content to back up. And because they rushed out a product so quick, like they have been doing, it just to me seems like. If Ubisoft would take their time with this game, because Assassin's Creed is now turned into Call of Duty for Ubisoft, um, it seems like a game that should take them two, two and a half years to make, they want to make it in a year, they jam as much into it as possible, and then they just ship it out. And if they wouldn't do that, then it could be a instant classic every time it comes out. And I know that my request to take their time with Assassin's Creed is almost damn near fucked up, but just consider that the console generations, 7 and this one now, is damn near laughable, okay? You have people who would much rather play games on this format, who would much rather play this game And who would much rather play this game than play any of these? Okay. And the comparison is just Nintendo 64 older games versus the newer game. It's not because I'm nitpicking. I'm just showing older games versus newer games. And the reason B is because the newer games are coming out and the newer games are being so rushed out the door that they're broken and we're paying $65 for them and they're not even guaranteed to work when you plug them in. Not only are they not guaranteed to work, but you have to wait after you buy the damn thing. You gotta go home, you plug it in, and then you have to wait, okay? Instead of going to a game store, putting $15 down on a cartridge game or a CD game from the past, plugging that bitch into your old game system, and getting to automatically boot it up and play in it right then. And I know what a lot of you are thinking, which is, well, that's just because times have changed. No, it's because these games are coming out and they're being shoved out the door so fast, they're not finished. Okay, DLC is a proof that these games are not finished. That is a hard fact, these things are not finished. It's because they have limited time window to produce these massively big games and when that when that when that limit right there is hit and it's bam it's time to let it go they cram it out the door and now you have games that are getting pushed and they're getting pushed and they're getting pushed that a lot of people lose interest and what happens when people lose interest a lot of really good games won't ever make it to the daylight, okay? Like, you have um, Kingdom Hearts 3. 
Kingdom Hearts 3 should have been on the last generation system, man. That game is now probably old enough to have been a fucking movie. You know what I'm saying? Think of all the movies that have had sequels lately. And all the sequels that have now been coming out have age appropriate. You see what I'm saying? They're like 10 years or older, man. Boondock Saints 2 came out when Boondock Saints 1 was, what, over 10 years old? Fucking, you have movies that have sequels that are old as shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, Lost Boys 2 came out when Lost Boys 1 was almost, what, 15, 16? You have these movies that have sequels with a gap, a huge fucking gap. Okay, and that's like Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out, yes, but we have no idea when. It might not even come out till fucking PS5. You know what I'm saying? If there's a PS5. It might not even come out this generation because we keep hearing, oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. We promise that it's coming. Okay, you know what? There's a lot of things that is promised to be coming, but um, they never happen. You know what I'm saying? You remember Kingdom Hearts that was supposed to come to Wii? That never came out either. You know what I'm saying? And yes, that's true. If you don't believe me, Google that shit. There's a whole box case and everything. You can look that shit up for real. That was supposed to happen and it didn't. Okay. Um. But, like I said, this franchise is a huge deal. This thing keeps constantly coming out. They don't take breaks from it. This is a huge cash cow for Ubisoft. This is like Ubisoft fucking Mario or Ubisoft version of Halo or fucking Traytex Call of Duty. This is Ubisoft's Call of, Duty, Call of Duty or Uncharted or God of War or whatever you want to compare it to. This is Ubisoft's version of it. So what they need to do is they need to actually take the time and produce one. If they, you know, they want to produce it in a year, okay, but they need to go ahead and be like, we're going to secretly be working on it while the one that's being, you know, make us think that, okay, you produced it in a year, but secretly you had it going while the other one was, you know what I mean? If you have to lie about it, lie about it. Fuck, nobody gives a shit. You know what I'm saying? Nobody does. Because a lot of great games take years to produce. Help. This has got to be like one of the best Final Fantasy games. I'm not saying the best, but one of the best. And it took years to make. Okay? And yeah, this is back before Square went butt shit crazy, man. This is back when they were Squaresoft producing great RPG games. It took years to produce. And, you know, years to make. And Assassin's Creed 1 was great. Assassin's Creed 2 was amazing. Assassin's Creed 3... Y'all started going out here. Assassin's Creed 4 was... was It was good for what it was. And Assassin's Creed Unity, y'all lost everybody. And now you have Syndicate. Syndicate, y'all started getting fans, but Unity really hurt y'all. And now I don't know anything about Brotherhood, and I don't know anything about the other one with Brotherhood. The other two Enzo stories, I don't know anything about. Nobody really ever talked to me about them, so I never tried them. I never picked them up. Um, but like I said, I, I've i played these. I've not done any of the DLC that comes with it. And this downloadable shit. I want to do this Chronicles. It sounds pretty good. Um, I know there's a, a Jack the Ripper DLC. I know that there's a Master Assassin pack. Um... But like I said, it's just, I guess it might be just me being a little nitpicky. I don't know. But I am getting tired, with, especially with this current gen. But I do know it was also on last gen, more towards the end of last gen. But it's definitely with this gen. Games are coming out and they are fully broken. There is absolutely no reason for that shit, okay? If you need to push the game, push the damn game. If you release a broken game, please quit asking as much money as you are. There is no need for that shit. Oh, the game's got to be $65. If you're going to ask $65, do not release a broken fucking game. Otherwise, please realize you're not getting the $65. Because as soon as we buy that shit, we see it's broken, we're taking that bitch right the fuck back. Okay? 
And then if we want it later, you know what we're going to do? We're going to buy that bitch used. And no, bitch, you have no right to get mad. None whatsoever. And if you disagree with that, I don't give a fuck. You want to buy broken games? Go for it. But I guarantee you, you are going to sit there just pissed off all the damn time. And while I'm playing games that are not broken, I'm sitting here having a good time. But, like I said, that's just me. That's my opinion. Um, and one more thing that I want to discuss before I get out of here about this Assassin's Creed game that gets on my damn nerves is, I said it did the whole Grand Theft Auto Assassins because of the damn buggy, the horse and carriage. Why the hell did they feel the need to act like it's an Assassin's Creed Spider-Man? With the zipline thing? That shit was annoying. You have buildings that are too far apart to play jump between. And then you have them like almost damn sky towers. And synchronizing is almost not even an option in this game because you can't even find them that much anymore. Which almost seems like they thought about removing that feature which to me seems kind of stupid because I played Assassin's Creed for synchronizing also Eagle Vision but besides that what the fuck is up with the Spider-Man shit like uh, you can launch across why why did you add in so much shit were you afraid that if you didn't your fans weren't gonna buy it they were going to buy it because it's Assassin's Creed, man. I don't get it. I don't understand this. I want to like Assassin's Creed because it's Assassin's Creed. I don't want to like it because it's playing like Grand Theft Auto or it reminds me of Spider-Man or it reminds me of an RPG when Assassin's Creed has never been any of these things. It's always been Assassin's Creed and it's been different. But it's starting to remind me of other games that have gone off into left field for no fucking reason other than they want to follow with Tide because that one's making money now. Instead of being original and making something completely original and making money that way because these people over here are making money because they're original and that's what making money is all about in video games, being original. For Christ's sakes, Call of Duty at the time was original and that's what stood out about it. But then again, what the fuck do I know? I'm just a guy who likes to play video games, your average casual gamer, and a fan of Nintendo. So, you could take my word for it, you don't have to, fuck it. This video has gone on longer than I expected, y'all, and I apologize. I just wanted to talk to y'all about some shit I was out about about the new Assassin's Creed game, Syndicate. And I know it's not so new now, but I haven't played it in so long, and I have no idea if I talked to y'all about it or not once already. But get ready for that Xenoblade Chronicles X, Xenoblade 2, or Xenoblade Chronicles Cross. Whatever you call it, get ready, because it comes out in three days this video will be posted on the first so get ready it comes out in three more days that unboxing will happen as soon as i pick it up um and i can't wait i do have it on hold right now through gamestop yes i did reserve it through gamestop because they are the way to get the uh, limited edition i'm not pulling that shit where i go with it fucking walmart and they tell me it's sold out um so once I go pick it up, I will be unboxing it for y'all. Um, and I will see y'all then. Deuces.